guys so much. So I am fantastic as always. Thank you for asking. <laughs> My name is Suzanne Sukin. Because of Sukin, you can too. I'm delighted to be back. This is, um, well, heck, it's the second season. Yeah! I'm so excited as always. Well, goodness gracious, where do we begin? Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff swirling through my head. So much has happened since, since our last show we had with Don Lynn. Um, hmm. Well, the weather's breaking. That's a wonderful thing, but we don't care about that. I hate small talk. So let's start with, ooh, okay. I know what we're going to start with. When Jupiter entered Scorpio, all kinds of poop hit the fan as far as um, creeps, creeps, creepy men who use their power to take advantage of women and all that kind of thing. Well, as soon as click, as soon as the, the as soon as the planet Jupiter clicked on the clock, um, that's when all that stuff started happening. And in all honesty, I am delighted. Did you see that speech that Oprah made? Oh my God! It was like so mega awesome. She just nailed it. Um, I'm thrilled. I am thrilled to be alive during this time because it's just going to ripple. So the whole mm, kind of, we're moving into a more feminine world right now. Can you feel it? All that masculine roar, that stuff is starting to subside. And so it's not the same as, you know, I am woman, hear me roar. It's not the same as that. It's a little different. It's a little more... Eh, well, subdued is the word that's coming to my mind, but, but it's, more, it's more caring, it's more nurturing, it's more equal. So, you know, equal pay for equal work. What the heck? Why, why, it's not rocket science. Why, why is that such a big deal? If I go and I do the same job as you, then we should be paid the same, right? Okay. And um, so guess what? This is, gonna, this is creeping up through all of the channels. And I'm really excited because I do so much work with domestic violence and um, that it's going to show its face in the courtroom. I, can, I know so many, so many stories, so much unheard of corruption that happens in our courtrooms. These people make a good buck to sit there and slam a hammer. Well, gosh darn it, they should be protecting the ones who need protection and not accepting money to let the bad guys go. I can't take it anymore. It's driving me nuts. So um, this whole thing is just going to continue. It's going to go right up the chain. Uh, you know, courts, politicians, all the way up, all the way up. So uh, mark my word, it's, it's not going to stop anytime soon. Um, I gave a speech called, that I called, it was my little Me Too speech, at the County Coalition Against Family Violence event last October. And uh, I did it on a Facebook Live, so I'm not sure if it made it to YouTube or not. Uh, but there's some updates I have I'd like to share about the nonprofit that's called Love Shouldn't Hurt Incorporated. Um, it's time to, to hit the ground. It's time to expand out of a living room and into a real place. Uh, we are having the ninth annual Exposure Concert at the Cove this year. It's at the end of June, the 22nd through the 24th. Lots of bands. We're going to have some people who are speaking. Um, we're revamping the event just a little bit, so it's not going to be three days of nonstop music. There's going to be some more, some more programming and stuff. So just mark those dates in your book, June 22nd to the 24th, and plan on being there um, to show your support to say, you know what, here's, actually, here's why I'm doing it. Too many people are falling through the cracks. Too many people are being told, no, I can't help you. Just two weeks ago, somebody came to me asking for help, and I said, oh, what about blah, blah, blah agency? Well, blah, blah, blah agency said, no, you've been out of your relationship for too long. We can't help you. Ugh! I can't take it. I can't take it. And see, I, I cannot do this alone. I need your help. We have volunteers, which is awesome, but I only have a teeny tiny little living room. That won't work. And the other thing is I cannot field calls with my son home because that brings that stress home. I tried it. it it's, I can't, it's not healthy. Um, so... Mark your, mark your calendar for the Exposure Concert. Um, my mission is to actually have space, a dedicated space, or even if we can rotate around different neighborhoods, that's fine. But we need to 
serve all these people that are being told no by the agencies that are put in place to serve them. That's whacked, okay? And uh, I'm not gonna take it anymore. So that's what we're doing. And if you wanna help, go to loveshouldn'thurt.org and um, you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be the first to, to learn of new things going on there. So that's what's up in that department. It's not gonna stop anytime soon and, uh, and we, we, we have to do something. Um, all right, so enough about that. All right, what else is going on? Hmm. I have a lot of stuff going on. It's so hard to just pick some things. Some of the biggest feedback I've had on this show, and I thank you very much. Some of the biggest feedback is um, you like the self-love stuff, and um, I am starting up my workshops again. So if you're interested, I have one that's on self-love. It's going to be held at... Poppy Beauty in West Seneca. It's near Winchester Elementary School, and that is in uh, early March. So you can go to my website, SuzanneSucan.com, to uh, sign up. Okay, so that's out of the way. Check, 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 check. And there was something else that already escaped my mind. Goodness gracious. All right. Ah, I know what it was. We have a sponsor. Okay, sponsoring today's show is Hearts Gallery. So yeah, they have the most awesomest stuff in there. They have like some metaphysical stuff. They have like some beauty stuff and home stuff, metal, wood, painting, glass, everything. And it's really cool. So head in there. This show airs February 1st. So head in there for Valentine's Day or St. Patty's Day or whatever, just because you want some cool stuff. This is no Walmart or Target or Target. None of that stuff. This is really cool because most of it's handmade and it's small business that's what it's all about support your local small business person <sighs> okay all right so yeah give it up for hearts gallery stop in they are located at union and union and clinton in west seneca that's right so stop in and say hello oh and my little healing angels are there also they're wonderful <sighs> all right guess what i have a guest i have a guest today that is just about my level of this like massive fun anxiety. I'm not even kidding. So to help me to kick off the new season of the You Can with Suzanne show, I have hand selected today's guest by special invitation with glitter and all. I have Miss Kelly Wall. Yay! <laughs> Well, I thank you so much, Suzanne, and um, I am honored to be on your show and to be on the episode that will kick off your second season. Congratulations to you and all that you do. Thank because you. Because like you said, we are all a ripple effect yeah. in the body of God and spirit, whatever you want to call it. And also, you were talking about your living room. I consider Buffalo to be one big living room. So I feel like I just had a seat on your couch and whatever comes up <laughs> is what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Wonderful, I love it, I love it. Thank you. So goodness gracious, now, okay, so what is what is your caption? You are you are a medium? Yes, I am a medium. I, I actually got into my spirit work through massage therapy. So is that where you started? That is where I started. And how long ago I mean, did unless you, you want to count those years. Well, what did you do before that? I worked for Erie County for 10 years. Oh, did you? On and off. Well, that was probably not as much fun. No, not at all. But it taught me because that's a lesson in life. Sometimes you have to learn what you don't want mm -hmm. in order to figure out what it is you do want. And here everybody's kind of against like, oh, you can't leave a, you know, a government job or this or that. Well, I wasn't getting any benefits. Um, I was getting laid off every year. Ugh. There was no security. And I would fill up my time um, bartending or doing other things. And finally, the ninth time that I got laid off, wow. I said, no more. I want to do something that feeds my soul. And I was always intrigued by massage therapy because I had actually gone to the University of Buffalo um, and I was a dance and theater major. And I did oh. some local theater and um, I had a contract. I was going to go to Florida and work for Disney and plot twist that didn't happen that's for another episode <laughs> and um but i was really intrigued because as i was going to ub and i was doing theater i was doing a lot of dancing i would go for massage therapy and i met this therapist and she was amazing and she really honed in on the incorporating the mind body and spirit that mm. we are three-dimensional beings 
and how that's a triangle and when one corner's off the other two just don't quite work the way that it should mm -hmm. and I was like this is fascinating and, and she can do all this and also make my body feel good in the yeah. aches and pains so the more I thought about you know what is it that I'm going to do when I grow up I said I, I know I want to do something that I look forward to doing if you're going to spend all this time working make it enjoyable so that it's not a chore absolutely so I'm fortunate enough that I am able to do something that I love and then when you love it, you give back even more and, you know, vice versa. Yeah. So I got into massage therapy and I loved it. And I had, um, ever since I was young, gotten messages from Spirit and I thought they were imaginary friends. And everybody just thought I was a little, you know, off, a little wacky. And I would talk to the wind. But what I was really doing was getting messages from Spirit, you know, God. I use those terms interchangeably as you do mm -hmm. because it's the God of your own understanding. It's the higher power. So, you know, you kind of put those things on a shelf, especially through, you know, your late teens or early 20s or even sometimes forever. Right. And then you say, I'm really not being true to myself. And so the more I got into massage therapy, the more when I had my hands on people, I was receiving messages or I knew instinctively where to work on the body to release trauma or pain or tension. And those things make me a very good therapist. Mm -hmm, right. <laughs> and that I was fortunate enough that massage therapy took me to all sorts of adventures. And I do a lot of work with Live Nation. So I get to meet all kinds of people that we would never get to meet on a daily basis and not their stage personas. And it's just really interesting to hear everybody's story and I'm kind of getting back into your introduction for the show of how 2018 is how everybody has a story and we should all be heard mm -hmm. and we're fortunate to have avenues like what you do and your work in the community and your show so and I like to play my part in that as well so whether it's massage therapy which heals the body but it also helps relax the mind and the nervous system or then I started to develop my healing skills. And it's like Reiki, you know, Japanese mm -hmm. energy treatment where everything has energy to it. So if we can hone into our bodies and our different chakras, which is a different word for wheels, and we can take those blockages and kind of help them release, we start to get a little more clarity, a little more room. And then all of this, because I believe that prayer is when we speak to God, but meditation is when we listen. Mm -hmm. And it's all about getting out of our own mind. So I'm a huge proponent of meditation. And like um, on Mondays, I do meditation circles out in Hamburg, but I also do a lot of them wherever I, I do a workshop. And um, I hold healing services monthly um, all over the place. But it's an opportunity for people to come into a sacred space and we really need to be focusing in 2018 about the community because it's all about partnership. And like you said, we came in in this motherly sign, this feminine power of nurturing. Mm -hmm. But it's also about working together. You know, 2017, we had a lot of shakeups. Yeah. But it was more of an awakening and learning what it is we didn't want so that we know what we do want. But now we know that we have all these different avenues to help us figure that out and help us, you know, release the trauma you know, heal the ouch, I like to say. Mm -hmm. And so massage therapy, healing, and even mediumship work, which is working with those who have crossed. Now, everybody's psychic. Mm -hmm. And we all have that inner voice that says, you know, oh, maybe I shouldn't take the throughway way tonight. Or, you know, I got a hunch. Maybe I'm going to play the numbers tonight. Or, I don't know if I want my daughter dating so-and-so. You, you get that. Yeah. Well, if you just tune that in, that's your psychic ability, your intuition. And then mediumship is about honing in to the other plane where those have crossed over. So I kind of think of it as the Lily Tomlin on the switchboard, you know, for I back love in the day, you know, like, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to connect you. <laughs> and there are people like you and I that, that can do that. And it helps bring clarity, joy, solace, inspiration to people. So I really think of it as like, a, a counseling service but I'm, I'm tuning in and I'm a vessel using God's words to help yeah so through all of that 
that's my life's purpose, my soul's mission. Yeah, and you know what? It's so awesome when people find it. Yes. And not only find it, but activate it and do it. Right. Step into it. Right. And like you said, activate, because 2017 was all about thinking about what it is that we want in our mm -hmm. lives. 2018 is all about, okay, let's put energy to that now. Right. It's about let's, grounding that. Yeah, let's, let's make it happen. You yeah. can't just do it. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy the ticket. Right. <laughs> so now our year is to buy the ticket. You know, if you think you're in the shadows, then you've got to get out of the shadows. If you want to be heard, you have to find your voice. And shows like this are about telling people where they can go to help get the strength and support to do that. Exactly, exactly. You brought up a really common point. Um, you noticed that you got messages, but you, it, it didn't go over very well when you shared about that right. with other people. Yes. How did, at what point did you, like, because some people will shelve that and that's very dangerous and not good for you, for you to do. Mm -hmm. um, how, how did you get to, how did you get through that? Okay. Well, like I said, the more and more that, you know, you just brush it off and you say, oh God, if I say that, people are going to think I'm crazy. Yeah. Or people are going to, they start to get that, you know, like suspicion and paranoia. Like, how do you know that? <laughs> Have you been stalking me? Yeah. Who, who do you know? <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I, I kept it dim. And I was fortunate enough, see, both sides of my family have just had this as a part of their lives. So uh -huh. my mother's side of the family, okay. my grandfather's busha, which is his grandmother. Was is that what a busha a, is? A busha, yeah. And she was a gypsy. Oh, really? Yes. And she wore the babushka and everything, and she'd put it in cold water and put it over her head so that it would calm the voices. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> um, you know, back then we didn't have, you know, instant messenger or texting right? and stuff. So, yeah. he, you know, one of my favorite stories is how um, she had one of her headaches. So she was going to lay down. And it was, it was because there was constant activity that mm -hmm. was her headache. Mm -hmm. And um, so she said to my grandfather, you know, you're going to get two women that come to the door. One will have canned peaches, the other will have canned pears. If they do not, I'm not talking to them. So they would barter, you mm -hmm. know, her insight, her fortune telling for goods that, you know, food, whatever she needed. Wow. So, but it was, you know, oh, you got to knock and, you know, keep that <laughs> under the closet, yeah. you know, whatever secret, you know, meetings and stuff. And then my father's side of the family was very like scientific approach. So it was very, mm. you know, Edgar Cayce, um, Abraham Hicks and the laws of attraction and palmistry and tea leaves and everything like that. Wow. It was the science of it. Yeah. It was the science of like honing in to um, manifesting, you know, like the power of positivity, you know, which we all think the power of negativity. So if you're around that person, it was always like, I'm sick. I'm old. I'm old. Oh, my back hurts. I'm old. This is what happens when you get old. Well, guess what? You're going to become older than you are more quickly with more ailments because that's what you keep putting out there. Exactly. Yeah. But it works the opposite way too. If mm -hmm. you keep saying, I am too blessed to be this stressed. <laughs> nice. Or, you know, I think about when I'm really upset about something, I, I stop and I say, okay, is this an inconvenience or a problem? Like, yeah, a flat tire. It sucks. But in five years, is it going to matter? Right. No, it probably won't even matter in five days. Yeah. So stop spending like more than five minutes. It's more of an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Now, ALS or something, that's a problem. Losing a limb is a problem. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, put it in perspective. So I had both sides kind of like give me, you know, different perspectives. That's, that's fantastic that you had that support. Because mm -hmm. a lot I of people, I have some it. friends that have that. Mm -hmm. um, it's very active, but there's, they have suppressed it because they don't have any support. Right. Or they have the old, you know, Roman Catholic. Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah, and yeah. I was raised Catholic. I fought very hard to go to Catholic high school. And I even considered going to Catholic college because... I loved working with God. I loved learning about the saints and, and being part of a community mm -hmm. and openly praying and talking about it. So I was fortunate enough to be introduced to Lily Dale. <laughs> and um, I think we're fortunate having it an hour away from where sure. we are in Buffalo. And yeah. there's so many classes and 
things that you can do to learn about, well, am I you know, just crazy or is there something to it? Well, there really is something to it. <laughs> yeah. So then a few years ago, I became very active there and I started to learn about more hands-on healing as opposed to Reiki. It's just different modalities, mm -hmm. different, different types. And then um, I got into a development circle where you learn about your intuition and how to decipher what that means to you. So if you've ever seen those dictionaries, like, you know, French to English kind of thing, mm -hmm. to me, it's kind of like, all right, well, this symbol to me, like when I see rose quartz, this means, you know, healing heart. We have to give a little more heart energy. So it's like interpreting our signs of our intuition and learning how to use that as a message. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of work there. I served on the board. I was a healer at their church services, and I really enjoyed so many things that it has to offer. But I kept that out in Lilydale. Mm. But when I'm in Buffalo, I'm a little Miss Party Girl over here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Why can't you be both? And I see like women in relationships that are like, you know, yes, I love going to shoot pool at a dive bar, but I also like to dress up and go to a black tie affair every now and then. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that it's either one or the other. Ugh. You know? Ugh. And it's like, no, we're we're diverse people. Yeah. And you gotta just find those who click with you and take your diversity and see if it mixes with theirs and what you come up with. Right. Yeah. So I finally said, Well, why am I hiding this like out there? You know, people in Buffalo need this too. People all over need this. And I like what I do. It makes me feel good to know that I made a difference, that what I said, like kind of like made a little light bulb go off in your head. And wow, thank you. That that just made the situation a little better. Or, or it's a way to understand it that I can deal with. You know, mm -hmm. I did a reading on this woman. She had lost her son at six months old due to a child abuse situation mm -hmm. and she was living with this guy and this was like for 24 years she she held on to this and blamed herself and mm. everything and how can you not it's natural to blame yourself mm -hmm. and it's hard to see the bigger picture at times and I said sometimes it takes such a huge tragedy to force us to get out of a situation or change something and if it was any less intense you wouldn't do it. Right. So. Yeah, I yes, get it, I it's get it. tragic, but it was the catalyst that she needed to leave that relationship. And if she would have stayed, who knows what kind of abusive life this kid would have just been cycling and over and over again. Right. So, but it was something that she held on to so tightly that she couldn't see a different perspective of it. Mm -hmm. So, and that's. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I lived there. Right, yeah. right, 22 years. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been out for 10 now, and holy moly. And look at how you shine. Yeah, and I wouldn't change a thing either. Right, you had to learn the lessons. Right. A kid, a kid can be told, the stove is hot, don't touch it. Sometimes that kid's got to scorch itself. And yeah, say, <laughs> that'd be me. Yeah. So. I'm a touching. <laughs> Both hands, baby. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. And, like, I, like... I don't like touching people, so I like would never do a license really? massage there because I don't want to be touching people. Yeah. It took me a little I bit. I couldn't to be get a nurse or at that. Feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah I couldn't do once that. Once I was in the zone, it was just a natural flow. Oh, I'm sure, and it's super mega awesome for you, <laughs> not for me. I like talk, and you know, we'll talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Actually, I mean, in Reiki, you don't have to touch. Right. Right. <laughs> so I like my Reiki stuff, mm -hmm. and. Um, I like everything. Just life is so good. Right. Life is so good. So there's so many different avenues. Like, um, you know, once a month, if you go to my website, K Wall Healing, and that's Wall with an H, W A H L. The H is for healing. Nice. <laughs> nice. And so it's K Wall Healing Arts dot org. All right. And there's a schedule of events with a Facebook page um, where we'll do a healing service monthly. And what that means is it's just like an opportunity to come together do a little meditation and put some energy out in the world, mm -hmm. but also for ourselves and also for those who feel as though no one is praying for them. And then I talk about what's going on universally, and then we have mediums that will give messages. Um, I also do the meditation circle on Mondays at Golden Light Practitioners in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. And all that's on your website, right? It is. Okay. And that's in Hamburg. And again, it's just an opportunity. People think meditation is, 
I have to sit like this and I have to sing Kumbaya for an hour. <laughs> and it's like, no, right. we do sound meditation and we do guided meditation. We do visual meditation. We even do some drumming circles. Yeah, Where awesome. we bust out some drums. And there's just all kinds of different workshops. I just did one on numerology and how that fits to your personal life. Like your big concert on right. June 22nd. Yep. Numerology breaks it down to three ones in a row which is all oh, yeah. about the awareness and putting the energy into the action. There we are. So there's yeah, I've been getting a bunch us. of synchronicity with 22 lately. Which it's is been keep two, the faith. 22 and 222. Before that, it was 11-11. But I know we're just about out of time, so right. I'm not even going to go there. But Another holy show. moly, you have so much stuff <laughs> that you do, and it's so amazing. So make sure to go to Kelly's website. One more time. K-Wall, W-A-H-L, healingarts.org. There you are. Awesome. Thank so, you so much, Suzanne. Thank you. And that's all the time we have. And oh. um, we will check you. Um, wait a minute. Hearts Gallery. I want to say thank you to Hearts Gallery. Yes, thank you, sponsor. Hearts Gallery. Spitting all over the place. They, they sponsor today's <laughs> show. And um, feel free to uh, check out my website, SuzanneSucan.com. And I'll be back here again next week. And so will you. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Oh, my God.